Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have the new Glam Light and Strawberry Shortcake collection to try out for you guys today. I picked up the entire collection on launch day. The entire collection as a bundle has since sold out, but you can purchase most of the items as individuals. So the only thing not available is this little guy right here. And let's start first with this one. This is the blush, Strawberry Shortcake blush, and it's just a light pink. I'll be applying this in a little bit. Uh, in the collection, we also get a pair of lashes. Glamlight always does elaborate lashes, so I'll be curious to see how these look on my eyes. Okay, this next item I think could be the cutest thing in the entire collection, the little strawberry makeup sponge. Love that. I'm not going to be using this today on camera, but it feels good. It feels like, you know, a regular makeup sponge feels. What I have on already is the lipstick and lip gloss duo. Look at the packaging on this lipstick. Is the camera going to focus? Look at that cat. It's so, so cute. And then here is what the shade looks like. I'll be honest, uh, not too crazy about this shade of pink, at least on me. I definitely think the packaging is more cute than the actual color. The lip gloss is also really cute with the green cap and then the strawberry seeds all over it. And last but not least, of course, we have the eyeshadow palette. This is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette full of mattes and shimmers and just strawberry goodness. You can buy the eyeshadow palette right now on the Glam Light website. It retails for $32. And like I mentioned earlier, the only thing not available right now that has sold out is the blush and the entire collection as a bundle. I'm going to be creating three looks with this collection today. We're going to try it out. I will say that the palette swatched really well really, really easy, really fun to swatch this palette. So I, of course, have high expectations for it. If it is your first time here on my channel, I want to say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph and this is what I love to do. I love trying out new makeup. You're always going to see the latest and greatest in makeup reviews, multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, makeup ranking videos. If all of that sounds great to you and you want to see my videos on pretty much a daily basis, I do tend to upload quite a bit. Do me a favor and click on the subscribe button and hit the bell next to it. That way you'll be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you're a fan of Glam Light, if you're curious about this new strawberry shortcake collection, give this video a thumbs up before you go. As usual, guys, everything that I'm using will be linked or listed in the description box. Some of those links might be affiliate links. So if you do end up shopping through them, I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Let's dive on into the strawberry shortcake and Glam Light collection. If you guys want to see the three looks I'm about to create, but first we're going to apply the blush. Keep on watching. Let's dive into the blush first. I'm going to use my Refer 04. We're going to start applying. I do have a little bit of the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer on already. I also want to mention, I forgot to mention this in the intro, but I picked up a highlighter. I picked up the Michaela highlighter, the one from last year. I'd been wanting that one for a while, and when I ordered the palette last year, it sold out really quick, so I wasn't able to get it. So I think I was able to get that on sale, by the way. So we'll apply that right now. I am testing out the new Makeup by Mario foundation. So if you're wondering one of the things I have on my face, that is the foundation. You guys will see that foundation review go up probably the day after you're watching this video. Okay, well, I love that blush. It's a nice little pinky, pink tone blush, a baby pink. And I think it looks really pretty. I like it on my skin tone. I like the blush on my skin tone more than I like the lipstick. I don't know. I don't know what it is about the lipstick. It's just not throwing me off. Okay, so here is the highlighter I'm going to dip into. Ooh, wow, that is beautiful. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, so blush is on, highlighter is on. I'm loving the combo. Ooh, I think that looks really pretty. Let's start creating the first look with the Strawberry Shortcake Palette. All right, I've already primed my eyelids with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer, and we are ready to dive into this green and pink and red palette. I love this color story. I think that's so much fun. And again, this palette swatched so well. 
what I'm going to do, I'm seeing this shade that looks an awful lot like the blush I just applied. So I think I'm going to start first with this shade. I'm going to really just pack it into the crease. And then I think I'm going to work down to this shade over here and then go in with one of these deeper shades. And I'm taking that first shade on a Game Beauty E01. Now I'm going in with that mid-tone pink shade and I'm using a Refer 14. I'm gonna apply this out here and also just really build it into the crease. Now on a Refer 13, I'm gonna go in with this shade up here. Okay, I think that is a really pretty blend. What do you guys think? Get some nice shades. All right, now we need... Ooh, okay. Mm, what do I want to do? Okay, I think I'm going to do this shade and this shade. This shade looks so pretty. I'm going to try these two shades. I'm going to go in with this one first, and then I'll probably end up applying this like in the center and on uh, and in the inner corner. I'm using a damp Morphe M124. Did feel a little bit of fallout. All right, now with my finger, I'm picking up that other shadow. Just gonna apply it right here. Oh, it's so pretty. And this is gonna be for the inner corner as well. But I think I'm gonna do some work on the lower lash line before I add that on the inner corner. For the lower lash line, I think I'm gonna keep this like an all monochromatic look. So uh, I'm not gonna do the green. I kinda wanna do like an all green lid and then do pink on the bottom. We'll do that for the left eye. So I think I'm gonna go in with this second shade I use and I'm gonna start um, just blending that on the lower lash line. I'm taking the shade on a BK Beauty A504. I obviously have mascara on already just because I was filming some stuff earlier and it is the Maybelline Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I was going to say the Tower 28 but no I wore that one yesterday. With the same brush I'm going to pick up a little bit of the first shade I used that lighter pink and I'm just going to run it right below. Now I'm going back in with that shimmer shade I used for the middle of the lid. All right guys, I'm gonna do the finishing touches. I am gonna apply um, the lashes. I think I'll wait for the last look to apply the lashes. But right now, I'll do some liner, touch up the mascara, and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number one. Okay, guys, here is the completed look number one. I added some Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Liner to the top lash line. And for the lower water line, this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner, this one is in the shade Fruit Fantasy. And then, of course, the Maybelline Sky High Mascara is mascara I'll be using in today's video. I really like the way the look turned out. You have to love pink shadow. If you don't love pink shadow, I don't think this is going to be the palette for you. But I thought all of the shades performed really well. Nice blend. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. So for look number two, I already said I want to do something with the greens. We'll do something with the green like all on the lid and then we'll do some pink maybe on the lower lash line. So I'm going to start first with the shade and then I think I'm going to end up doing the shade like all over the lid and then we'll play with some of these fun shimmer shadows. So I'm taking this lighter green on a Game Beauty E01. Now on a BK203, I'm going in with that darker green. And like I mentioned, I'm just going to start packing this all over the lid and then blending it into the crease with the other green. Now I think I'm going to do the shadow. I'm going to apply this all over the lid. I'm using a damp Morphe M124. You know what? Maybe I'll just do it right here on this inner half. 
And I'll do that darker green out here. Just so we can use as many shades as possible. We could very easily leave the look like this. But I think I'm going to go in with this one next and place it out here. So I did spray it. Same brush. I'm just going to take the brush I used for the dark green and just lightly blend the edges. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this red right here. We're really going to look like a strawberry right now with this look. And I'm using a rougher 26. So this is looking like the tropical Christmas look I created the other day with the Monte Verde palette from Nomad. Didn't intend to <laughs> do the same look. Hopefully the inner corner will. Yeah, the inner corner will definitely be different because I used a yellow and like a gold. We don't have those shades here. Now I'm going to use the shade for the inner corner. I'm using a damp refer 03. I think I want to deepen up this lower lash line. So I'm going to go into, let's see, I'm going to try this shade right here. I'm using the refer 03 again. I just cleaned it. Okay, I'm going to do finishing touches, and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number two. Okay, guys, here's the completed look number two, the strawberry look. What do you guys think? Same uh, liner for the top lash line, same mascara. For the lower waterline, another ColourPop Cream Gel liner, and this one is in the shade Teaspoon. Wanted to bring the green down just so that everything, you know, just kind of ties together. And so it doesn't look like the look I just created a couple days ago. Oops. But I love it. I love the combination of pink and green together. Pink and uh, red and, and green and red. I think it's a really nice color combination. Love that inner corner. All right. I'm going to take some pictures. I'll be right back and we'll start creating the third and final look with Glam Light and Strawberry Shortcake. Okay. So let's start working on this third and final look. What do I want to do? I feel like, yeah, I've already used all the matte shades in this palette. Okay, so that's good. I think what I'm going to do is, should we do a pink and green lid? We could try that. I think I can go in with this shade and then go into like the light green, darker green, the red. Maybe I should start with this shade. Probably best if I start with this shade, right? So I'm going to do a combination of this shade, this shade, and the two greens on the lid. We'll see, fingers crossed, we'll see what kind of a blend I can get from that. So I'm going to start first with the lighter pink and a Game Beauty E01. You saw that I took off the other look. It's because I'm going to do both eyes since I have to film another video. After this, I just want everything to look cohesive. Now on this BK209, I'm picking up that darker red shade. And I'm going to focus that right in here. I meant to start with the right eye. Oops. I'll blend in the crease in a second. I just want to lay down the shadow first now on this bka 502 i'm picking up the lighter pink the first shade and i'm just going to use that to blend along the edge right here now on another bk 209 i'm going in with the lighter green and i'm gonna do that right here Again, I'm just placing it and then I will work on blending it with another brush. So I'm picking up a little bit of the green on this refer 13.
Now on that same brush, I'm picking up the dark green. The dark green is really going to just help tie everything together out here. Now I'm going in with the lighter pink. Remember I am putting a shimmer on top, so it's going to look, just trust the process, should come together. Now I'm going to go in with this pink shadow and I'm going to try applying that in the center. And I'm using a Morphe M213. I'm going to apply that like right here close to the lash line. And I'm going to do something else on top of it. Now I'm going to go in with the shadow also in the center just above where I applied the first shape. Same brush, I did spray it again. All right, so I think that is that came together. What do you guys think? I mean, we're still not done yet, but I was a little scared. I'm not going to lie. All right, so for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this dark green. And I'm using a BK210. I'm going to stop like right in the middle, and then I think I'm going to do the lighter green. Now on a BK209, I'm taking the lighter green. Now I'm going to go in with the shade right here for the inner corner. And I'm using a damp refer 03. Okay guys, I'm going to add the lashes because that's the last thing I need to use from this collection. Do some liner and I'll be right back to show you this completed look number three. Okay guys, so here's a completed look, full look with the lashes and everything. I did have to trim down the lashes quite a bit and I just opted for some black liner in the lower waterline and of course the same wet and wild breakup proof on the top lash line. For the inner corner, I added the shade that I applied up here at the top, which was the shade, just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. I'll be honest, I don't know how I'm totally feeling about this look. Um, I tried to pull it together. I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different, but I'll let you be the judge of whether you like the way this look turned out. Um, eh, I have my doubts on it. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video, and I'll share with you guys my final thoughts on the Glam Light and Strawberry Shortcake collection. So my final thoughts on this Glam Light and Strawberry Shortcake collection is that I think outward packaging on everything is super cute. Like I mentioned in the intro, I think the packaging is definitely one of the high points of this collection. Look at Strawberry Shortcake, how cute. This is the Berry Licious palette. What's on the inside is equally as cute. You have 15 different shadows in here. The only thing that I would have liked to have seen is maybe a matte white. I feel like I needed something just a little bit brighter for the inner corner But I will say that all the matte shades performed really well as did the shimmer shadows Some of them have nice little shifts to them glam light has a really nice formula and it carried over into this palette I think if you really uh, like pink green and red shadows, this is gonna be a no-brainer for you I understand there's a lot of you out there You don't necessarily gravitate towards like full-on pink and red palettes, which this is a production predominantly pink and red palette. I thought that the shimmers were really great, really complementary to the matte shadows in here. And again, this swatched out really well and it also translated really nicely to the eyes. The Strawberry Shortcake Blush, again, packaging too cute. You do get a mirror up here. It's a nice little soft baby pink blush. I like it. I think it paired well with the Michaela highlighter that I picked up. This highlighter is beautiful. If you're placing an order from Glam Light and you haven't tried this highlighter out yet, this is a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. I'm sorry I waited so long to pick it up, but I'm glad I have it now because it was a nice compliment to this collection. Actually, I think I would have liked to have seen a highlighter in this collection. Maybe even like a split pen here, like half blush, half highlighter. That could have been fun. Um, the lashes, 
Glam Light always does a dramatic lash, but I don't feel like these are too over the top. I feel like these are rather tame for Glam Light. I did have to trim them down quite a bit. Glam Light does make really long lashes and I have a shorter eye, so I trimmed them down quite a bit and I like the way they look. Perfect complement for this otherwise dramatic look. Now as far as the lip duo, I mean, look at this packaging. The packaging is just beautiful. I'm not too crazy about this shade of pink. Maybe the gloss I can wear on its own, but I don't know. Something about this pink lipstick on me at least. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. I'll have to keep playing around with it, keep trying it, but Glam Light does have a good lip formula when it comes to their bullet lipsticks as well as lip glosses. Never had an issue with their lip products at all. And last but not least, what I think could be the cutest item in this collection is the little strawberry makeup sponge. How cute is this? The texture of the little stem up here is definitely different than the texture of of the makeup sponge. This part feels like a traditional makeup sponge, but this part is more of like um, a more textured sponge. It's kind of like a more porous little type of sponge but it's cute. I don't know that I'm ever going to use this. I think I want to just keep it on display. It is just too cute for words. Once again, you can find everything available minus the blush because it has sold out on the Glam Light website. I did purchase the full collection. The full collection retailed for $78 or $72, one or the other, but the full collection as a bundle is also sold out. So if you want just the eyeshadow palette and maybe the lip duo or maybe the sponge, those things are still in stock. I do not have a code with Glam Light, but if I can find one, I'll have it in the description box. That way you guys can save a little bit of money in case you decide to purchase anything from the collection. And with that, guys, we wrap up today's video trying out the new Glam Light and Strawberry Shortcake collection. Let me know your thoughts on this new collection. Did you guys pick it up? Are you waiting for your order to arrive? Or maybe you've been playing with it already for quite some time. Leave it in the comments down below and also let me know which look was your favorite. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys. Drink that water. I'll see y'all very soon. Bye.